What's up guys, Hobbo88 here and welcome back to the channel for something a little bit different in this video today. Peter Brock is undoubtedly one of Australia's greatest racing icons, possibly the best ever touring car driver or race driver that we've seen in this country. And he's an icon of the history of our sport. And today, the 8th of September 2020, marks the 14 year anniversary of his untimely death in a Targa rally racing accident back in 2006. So. I figured what would be more fitting than to sit down and have a lap of the mountain, Bathurst, Mount Panorama, the track that he was so famous for, the king of the mountain himself. Uh, what better thing to do than to go and cut a few laps around that track in a couple of his most well-known and iconic cars from his career. You guys are going to be doing this in Assetto Corsa. I'll throw links in the description below for all the mods used in this video, but uh, I'll have a brief chat about the cars uh, at the start of each one, we're going to do three different cars and uh, other than that, just sit back and enjoy. We don't need words uh, for this particular video really, just sit back and enjoy three of the greatest cars from possibly Australia's greatest driver at possibly Australia's greatest racetrack. So sit back and enjoy. So we'll kick things off here in this video with the oldest of the cars that we're going to race and it's a significant car in the history of Peter Brock's career. This is the LJ Tirana. From 1972, uh, the number 28, which is unusual, we don't see the 05 yet on the car, but this year was the first year that Peter Brock won the great race, the first of nine times, and uh, it was a significant event. It was a significant race too. It was the first time that rain had affected the race heavily, and it was a really, really good race. Um, this car is not especially powerful. It only puts out around about 230 brake horsepower, but it was designed by the Holden racing team or by Holden uh, to be a car that would be competitive because it was light, it was nimble, it didn't have a big engine, it was competing against the big heavy Fords of the time um, and it was the start of a golden era with Australian motorsport for Holden in general so uh, this is the 1972 LJ Tirana, guys sit back, relax, we'll rip a few laps and then we'll come back with the next car right after this.
So the next card that we're going to look at is this one. It's possibly even more important than the last one in regards to the history of Australian motorsport and the history of Peter Brock. And for those wondering, this is my all-time favourite car of any car in the world, the Tirana A9X. This is, I believe, the 1978 model. Um, in 1978, uh, Brock and Jim Richards went on to win the race. Um, it was also the introduction of Hardy's Heroes, the top 10 shootout for Bathurst that year, and they managed to put the car on pole by eight tenths of a second. Um, but more importantly was probably 1979, where the car is most famously well known for, and maybe the most famous race in Bathurst history for the simple reason that Brock went on to win the race by six laps, a record, six lap victory in the race, and he also set the lap record on the last lap. A little known fact about that is that he also passed seven cars on the last lap. Uh, to do that lap record but it was just a simple testament to how good this car was and how dominant it was by this point obviously upgraded to a v8 as opposed to the six cylinder it was still light it was still competitive in the fact that it was lightweight big wheels tire wear was good had decent brakes it stopped well by comparison to the big falcons but it also had the big power output as well with the big v8 so this car was an absolute killer it's it is my favourite all-time car, and that 1979 race at Bathurst is just a testament to how good it really was for its time. But uh, I'm looking forward to this, guys. Sit down, relax, and enjoy a few laps around Bathurst in the A9X Tirana.
So I had a few choices of what car to use for the third and final car in this video, but I've landed on the Group C VH Commodore. I think it would be fitting to see a Commodore as one of the cars in the group. It sort of needs to be, given that Brock was so famous with his Tiranas and Commodores, both uh, at the mountain and over the years of his career. That being said, 1982 was an interesting year. Um, it was probably the last year before turbo cars really kicked in at the mountain. Um, again, Peter Brock won the race this time driving with Larry Perkins um, and won by a lap over Alan Grice, I think it was, in second place. Um, the car was super competitive, it was really, really fast, and when I think back to the history of Bathurst, this was um, this was a, a car that, for me, just sticks in my mind as something iconic to the mountain. Um, it, something about this car, I'm not quite sure what it is, but this this was the car that I sort of think back to. This and the A9X Tirana, these are the two cars that I remember from this sort of era of, of Bathurst racing. So I felt like it would be fitting to run with this. I did have a couple of others I could have chosen for this video, but I decided to run with this one, keep it historic, and uh, I, I think this will be a good fun lap around here in this car as well. So guys, uh, sit back and enjoy it. And uh, that's going to be it after this for this video. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below about your favorite Brock memories. Um, obviously a true icon of the sport. So uh, let me know your thoughts below in the comments and whether or not you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you didn't. And let me know if you'd like to see other videos like this in the future. But that's it for this one, guys. After this couple of laps, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.